Well, how's it going, Gideon's Tactical family? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season, and I am super thankful for you, the viewers. And today, we're gonna take a look at some budget-friendly gift ideas. And these items are gonna span the height, the breadth, and the width of our outdoor and EDC systems. So buckle up as I share these gear items with you to help you give good gifts when you're on a budget. So out of the gate, we gotta talk about the Milwaukee Fastback. This is such a cool little tool. It's got that replaceable blade that we would know from a lot of other tools like this. It has a secondary exposed portion to strip wire or cut cord, a compartment for spare blades, large full handle so you can really grip and you know push through the material, a wire deep ride pocket clip that's removable, similar to a Spyderco knife, bottle cap opener. My version comes with a locking bit driver with a Phillips and flathead driver. There are options that are available without that feature. It slims it down a little bit and it'll be a little cheaper. But its real claim to fame is it's on bronze bushings with a push button lock. And this thing is as smooth and as fast as some $80 to $100 pocket knives with similar locking mechanism. So not only is it super easy to use and fun to use, but it's going to cost you like next to nothing. 15 bucks max. I think without the bit driver, they're like eight or nine dollars a piece. And will give you most of the functionality of a Swiss Army knife at half the cost. So say you wanna light up their EDC situation and gift them a new flashlight. Well, the Keychain compatible Rovivon Aurora series is awesome. I've been rocking this consistently now for six months and it's been very reliable for me. The newest versions have USB-C recharging capability at 650 lumens for the max, has a little polymer button switch that's been holding up really well, several different power output, and with it about the size of my pinky, I don't even know it's on my key ring. There are a couple other features, including a pocket clip, which doesn't work very well. And with the base model being about $25, it's a great option for a compact EDC light. So next up, I have some budget-friendly fixed blades, and no, they're not Mora's. I have here the Condor Pterosaur and Bush Glider. These are made in El Salvador. They are made out of 1095 high carbon steel, got cool coatings on them. You have a scandy grind with the Pterosaur. You have a Bush Glider with a full flat grind and a clip. A little bit more tactical, a little bit better for food prep. The Pterosaur is a little bit better at woods craft. They are full tang constructed, had the exact same basic handles. And when I say basic, I mean very comfortable for a lot of hand sizes, very good for long extended cutting tasks. Both come with 90 degree spines to throw sparks and both will come with ambidextrous polymer sheaths. They come in a variety of color combinations and will go anywhere from between 40 and $60 just depends on where you pick them up. Now I'm gonna be running down a lot of budget friendly gear, but maybe some of the stuff I hit just isn't quite what you're looking for. And that's where today's sponsor comes in, which is LA Police Gear. It's been amazing to have LA Police Gear as a regular sponsor here at the channel for almost two years. And there's a reason why I keep partnering with them. Not only do they carry some of the best name brands in the industry, like Leatherman and Gerber, Merrill and Solomon, 511 and Vertex, Magpul and Streamlight, just to name a few but also their own name brand gear and apparel, which provide great high value options. As one quick example, I've had with me for 14 months, the FL F1 flashlight runs on a rechargeable CR123 battery, reversible pocket clip, exterior recharging port, magnetized bottom, a thousand lumens with tons of extra features in it, as well as the new terrain series of messenger bags, sling bags, and backpacks, which have some key features for EDC that you'd have to pay almost double for through other brands. Throughout the holiday season, they are gonna be having tons of sales and deals. So I invite you to regularly check back, see what they have going on, plus, Year round, we have our 10% off site-wide promo code that you can use towards your purchase. So I invite you to check out that link in the description box below, use that promo code, and see all that LA Police Gear has to offer. Now, what about pocket knives? So I gotta start off with just no-brainers in the pocket knife community, and it's the Ontario Wrap Model 2, which is this mini one, 
and the Brat Model 1 right over here. And you can get them either with D2 steel, in which case they're gonna run between $45 and $55, or you can get them with Aus 8 steel, and they still run about 25 to 30 bucks, depends on where you pick them up. The thumb studs are perfectly balanced on either side, and with four-way directional pocket clips, it means these are completely ambidextrous, so righties and lefties will be able to enjoy them. For me, I prefer the full size at about three and a half inches overall blade length and really fills out my hand nicely. My wife tends to gravitate more to the Rat Model 2, fits her hand a little bit better, even though I can get all four fingers on mine and it's gonna come in at just under three inches for the blade length. Now you don't have to go splurge to hook them up with a very reliable timepiece. The Illuminator series from Casio is a great alternative to G-Shocks. If you can't afford that or it's just not in the budget this year, the Illuminator series still has 50 meters of waterproof capability. It's gonna have lots of different color combinations to choose from, from just your basic black to some of these cool bright colors. They have men's and women's styles. And sometimes you can score them for under $20 depending on the color combination. So this is a great option to go with if you wanna give them a timepiece in the digital arena. And in the more dressy analog arena, for about $30, you can score several designs from a brand called Tree Hut. My brother-in-law and I actually just discovered these and have both been rocking different styles and been very pleased with what we're seeing. The face and the body up here is all wood and wood structured with a good timepiece in between. I haven't seen any losing of time. And then genuine leather strap. And you can get them in all sorts of different shades and you know tones and stains of wood with lots of different features. For between $30, $40, this model is $29.99. So very cool for more of a dressy occasion and they're unique. They're kind of a conversation starter because the body is made out of wood and then you got that cool leather band. So you like big blades and you cannot lie and you want to gift them to your friends and family? Well, then the Ontario SP series is a great option, still high value, still made in America. Now, in recent years, they have dropped to 1075 steel, but on their larger tools like the SP8 Machete and the SP10 Bowie Raider, that is actually, in some ways, a better steel. It's more shock resistant and a tougher steel than 1095, so I'm not complaining too much. This guy, oh my gosh, this is the old uh, 1095 version, is just a monster. Sawback design, you can choke up. I literally had a comment once that a guy was an elevator operator and he used this to pry open elevator doors if he couldn't get them open with any of his other tools, which is just nuts. And this has been bomb proof. And the Bowie Raider, yeah, Raider Bowie, whatever. Uh, wow. <laughs> Almost 10 inches. I mean, it is an epic buoy blade. Great large handle, big guard. I mean, last ditch grizzly slayer, you know, tool. And decent nylon and even nylon leather with SP8, uh, if I remember that they still offer. I have the old version, so I'm not quite sure. But they also have a few other designs in the SP line, and they're all going currently... I've seen them as cheap as like $52 up to like 70. Depends on the, the version, the style, and where you're picking them up. So, I mean, these two were $55 when I was looking recently online to confirm prices. So wild that you can still get them for under 60 bucks and get these huge American-made tools that have the potential for years of hard, heavy use. Now, just because you're on a budget doesn't mean you can't hook them up with a reliable backpacking stove. At the time I'm making this video, the Primus Essential Backpacker Stove goes for $18 over on Amazon. That is wild. And with 8,600 BTUs, this is gonna be able to boil water very easily. Now, yes, you're gonna sacrifice footprint and you're gonna sacrifice weight. It comes in about four ounces and it does not collapse any smaller than what you see here, which is about the same diameter as those mini canisters. But it's a great option if you're on a budget. So maybe you wanna spice it up this year with some automatic options. The Boker Kalashnikov 74, AK-74, are awesome options. 
high value. Some are still made with OS 8. Most are now made with D2 steel. So many blade shapes, so many color combinations. These ones right here, you can get over at Blade HQ with their double XL version at 4.75 inches of overall blade length in a huge handle. This thing is a monster, but can still be shot out. And then this sweet clip point, 3.25 inch blade. Look at all the love on that guy. So it's gonna get that wow factor around the Christmas tree this year. And with the double XL going as low as about $55, depending on the version and the regular size going for about $40, as low as that. And then they even have a mini version as well that you can score even a little bit cheaper. The value point for an automatic knife like this is awesome. And guys, throughout this video, I'll have all of my hyperlinks to my affiliate programs that I partner with in the description box below where you can find all of these items easily. Now, camp cookware can get really expensive real quick, but Stanley still got you covered. This camp cook set made out of stainless steel will boil about 24 ounces of water very easily. Comes with two nesting polymer mugs that you can either dump or not. Folding arm, got a lid with vents. It's gonna go for still around $15. So it's a great option. You can easily nestle a compact stove and one fuel canister inside. And I've used this several times camping and backpacking. So next up is the Uber Laban Tinder Wick. I shared this recently on my Bushcraft video. This is inexpensive at about $15. It's wa a waterproof fire starter that will burn for over an hour. And it's just this piece of cord that's been infused with some flammable material. You tuck the end, you throw a spark on it and boom, it is movable. So it's like a match that never goes out and you can put it where you want, help you start stoves, help you start fires, and then you can snuff it out very easily with this aluminum bellow. And this bellow works great as a secondary straw to blow air through to create a vortex to get that fire going very easily. You don't have to get your face so close to the flame. So this is a great little gift item to give somebody. And they also have matching fire steels that throw sparks like crazy. So this would be a great combo gift to give somebody who's into the outdoors and likes starting fires. So this is one of the strongest high value folders you're ever gonna get your hands on. And it's the Voyager series from Cold Steel. I'll be honest, I don't know how they still pump these out at around 50 to $70, depending on the blade shape, depending on the color combinations, because they're starting to do more and more color palettes now, and sizes. This is the large, so it's gonna be a four inch overall blade. Clip point, you can get tanto, you can get serrated. There's all kinds of different shapes, sizes, dimensions that you can go with. Polymer handles, triad locking mechanism, which means it's one of the strongest pocket knives on the market. Giant handle that fills out the hand so nicely and reversible pocket clip for righties or lefties and easy to engage. So, I mean, it's, it's a phenomenal tool. I think I paid like $52 for mine when I picked mine up. And for that price, it's bananas what you're gonna get with this tool. And it's a great gift item that's gonna be very strong and very reliable for years for that person you may be gifting it to. This guy's been kicking for, I think 10 years, nine years at least. The Fiskars X7. It's hard to beat this hatchet and the Fiskars brand and line in general. They have lots of different sizes out there. This guy currently online is going for about 30. I'm sure if you go to some hardware stores, you might be able to find it for less than that. And this tool is lightweight in the handle, heavy on the heads, great for chopping and splitting. The polymer handle is basically indestructible. It's just a great, simple hatchet to get wood processing done. So maybe you wanna gift them a multi-tool that has pliers in its implement layout, but you don't have $100 to throw after that gift. Well, I got two good options for you. First off is the Leatherman 
bond. This is now their kind of base model. It is taken from the original Leatherman that was released in the 80s. It is a slip joint format, so all the tools are going to have a slip joint, similar to a Swiss Army knife but you are gonna get those nice dedicated pliers. It's still made right here in America with their 25 year warranty and is gonna go for about 50 to $60 on average. But maybe you want one handed deployment of those pliers. The Gerber MP600 is a great option. The main pliers run on a track system that is easy to deploy with a flick of the wrist. So if you feel like they will be accessing the pliers quite a bit, you can't do that with the Leatherman. You gotta use two hands to access those pliers. Then you are gonna have your basic tools that you would expect like a serrated blade, 3D Phillips head screwdriver, your plain edge blade, and your other bottle cap openers and flathead screwdrivers and file. And unlike the Bond, all of your tools are gonna to have a lockback design with this little disengaging bar right there just to give you a little extra security when you're using the tool and with gerber's forever warranty this is a viable option and we'll get your foot in the door to those plier based multi-tools and is going to go for between 60 and 70 dollars on average well there you have it guys those are just a few of the ideas that you could take a look at that will hit budget friendly prices but give you very high performing high value gear that you can gift those loved ones in your life or just hook yourself up for the holidays i invite you to leave a comment below and share some of your favorite budget friendly gift items that i might possibly gift this holiday season and i'm sure many in the gideon's tactical family may do the same so i look forward to reading those comments and i know you guys do as well i invite you to subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber to check out the other video popping up and until next time always remember stay equipped stay prepared and i'll see you out there